Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinone is here. So who is excited for the new Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro to come? I know I am. I mean, we are literally right around the corner from the official announcement of the new Pixel 8 series devices. And I know we've had tons of leaks already coming up to this point. Well, just recently, we have another leak, an official ad promo, whatever you want to call it, giving away lots of new features that are going to be coming for the cameras on the new Pixel 8 series. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over them here. And first thing I wanna point out is this new blue color right here just looks amazing. I mean, when I get this device, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going for this new blue color right here. It looks great in my opinion, absolutely beautiful. But the ad does start off just kinda, you know, showing us the device real quick and then it goes right into the camera. And the first feature that they do announce, this feature is called Video Boost and basically it just makes the video a lot smoother when there's a lot of movement in it. And you know, with the Google Pixel 7 Pro right here, I already said this uh, one of my last videos about this device that video has actually really improved coming from the previous generation. Well, it looks like video is going to be even more improved coming with the next Pixel 8 series with this video boost, making stabilization just so much better, especially when running down the stairs like you see right here in this leaked promo ad. And then we're also getting night sight in the dark, not just with photos because we've had that for a while, but with video as well. So you'll be able to take your video and move around not having to you know, keep the camera still to take a photo, but you're actually going to get some night sight when it comes to video. So of course you're gonna get that brighter video in the night, also giving you better quality. At least that's what we're hoping for. You know, these are just ads. Of course, we don't really know how things are gonna look when it comes to video quality or picture quality until we get the official device in hand. But according to this promo right here, it's actually looking pretty good, pretty promising, something I'm excited for that just allows us to take more video at night without having to worry about you know, the video not really looking good or looking too grainy or too shaky or anything like that. So the video boost along with the night sight video, we should be able to get some pretty good night video shots. Okay, so another one right here that I'm actually really excited to try out is audio eraser. So for instance, in this little video right here of this guy playing his instrument, of course, there's a lot of background sound in it. Now, I'm not going to play it right here in video because I don't want to get copyright striked or anything like that. But there's a lot of background sound going on in this video. And with this audio eraser, you're able to erase that background sound in order to hear yourself more clearly or hear what you're doing more clearly. So in this video right here, we're able to hear him playing his instrument over all of that background sound. It, pretty much completely erases all of the background. One, I wouldn't say completely erases, but it really dampens it a lot so you can focus more on the subject being recorded. So that's actually a really cool feature. And then we also have Real Tone, which they are announcing again, which is something that we've already known about and you know had on the Google Pixel 7 Pro, giving us those true tones when it comes to taking pictures of people. And then they go on to show us some night sight features, which we already know about. I mean, Google, the Google Pixel devices have always been good when it came to taking you know night sight photos being able to brighten it up more to more clearly see your subject or even big landscape shots or you know shots of the stars or whatever it is you're taking at night. Nightside has always been great on Google Pixel devices and then they also show us the zoom capabilities as well. Now I'm sure we're not going to get you know like a hundred times zoom like what we have with the Galaxy S devices but I mean we really don't need that. Most people don't really take a hundred times zoom pictures. I know for me personally with my S23 Ultra I basically just use it just to show off to friends and stuff but it's not really pictures that I post online or anything like that. It's just cool to show off and use. But, you know, Google has always been good about really making those zoomed in pictures, you know, nice and clear and crisp. So, you know, even though Zoom is nothing completely new to the Pixel devices, I'm still excited to try out and see how much it's actually improved, you know, coming from the Pixel 7 Pro going to the Pixel, the new Pixel 8 series. Okay, now this is one really, really cool feature that I'm sure a lot of people will find handy and useful. So. Say you're taking family photos, right? And you know, there's always that one person or few people, especially if it's a group of four or five or even bigger, there's always those few people that just maybe aren't smiling with everybody or maybe they're looking this way, looking that way, looking down, or maybe their eyes are closed. You never really know. You know, the picture never really comes out as perfect as you want it. Well, with this cool new feature right here, it looks like, it, say if you take multiple photos, maybe take three or four photos, where in one of those photos, one person looks good, but the other one, that uh, that same person doesn't and you know vice versa with everybody else while it looks like you can pick one of these photos and replace your face with one of the faces one of the good faces from your other photos and 
it doesn't even really look like, you know, these photos have been edited, at least according to this promo ad right here. And it actually looks like a really cool feature and I'm sure something I'm probably gonna use too. So, but y'all let me know what you think about that feature down in the comment sections below. Definitely very, very cool. And then still focusing on photos here, focusing on photos, we also have this focus feature here that allows you to focus in on something closer or something further away from the camera, which is nice, kind of like a DSLR uh, feature right here as actually is what they're saying here in this ad promo. So just another cool feature when it comes to taking photos. And then of course we have the magic editor within Google Photos, which, you know, allows you to remove objects. You can even remove, not remove, but move your subject from the side to the center. You can change up the background, you know, erase the clouds. If there's clouds in the sky, I mean, there's a lot that you can do within this magic editor within Google Photos. And then it shows us that we're getting that Titan M2 Tensor G3 chipset in the new Google Pixel 8 series, which is going to be much more powerful than what we have with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, which already works good in the Pixel 7 Pro, at least for me personally. So I'm really curious to see just how much more powerful these phones are gonna be with that new Tensor G3 chip. And then of course, we are still getting that built in VPN, which I personally use in my Google Pixel 7 Pro. It just helps keep your phone more secure and more safe, especially when online. And then of course, we're going to get all of the other great Google Pixel features that comes with these Google Pixel devices. I mean, they're always releasing new features for these devices that can become very, very useful. I can't wait to see all the colors that are going to be available for the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to that blue color. I mean, it looks really, really nice. And that's probably the one that I'm going to be picking up for myself. But like I said, these devices are literally right around the corner. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Are you looking forward to the Google Pixel 8 or Google Pixel 8 Pro? Let me know if you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. I'm Josh Quinones, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.